Large or small, making a profit is the biggest challenge to succeeding as a farmer. Retired Virginia Cooperative Extension agent Cliff Slade relied on his own experience to develop a technique to maximize the amount of crops a small grower could harvest from a single acre of land. He calls it the 43560 project. Basically, 43560 is nothing new. It's square foot gardening put on a commercial scale. It's all it is. But when you start talking about grossing $43,560 an acre, then you're not a small farmer anymore. You might be a small farmer, but you're grossing big bucks. Slade spent several years researching his techniques on his own farm before putting a demonstration plot in at Virginia State University's farm in 2013. It's all about making the growing process simple while maximizing what you get for your crop. We want to see if we can grow a head or a pound per square foot. And some of the top crops that I pick out right uh, initially would be Irish potatoes, they would do that. Carrots would do it. Spring onions would do it. Uh, and as far as the leafy green vegetable crops, lettuce is my favorite, but uh, my all-time high would be bok choy. But growing a lot of crops is only half of Slade's program. He insisted growers have their crops sold before it's harvested. There are four methods to sell or increase your profits for local produce. Sell it from your own farm. Sell produce to another community's supported agriculture operation. Sell it at a farmer's market or process it so it's more appealing to your customers. And growers need to plant crops that are popular. Every CSA owner that I went to and every restaurant owner that I would talk to, I would say, what is it that I could grow for you that you're having a tough time getting. And that it was a common denominator almost every time. It was cabbage, uh, carrots, onions, and lettuce. Other techniques Slate introduced include standardizing fertilization to a five gallon bucket method. The soil pH must be 6.5. He uses organic products and says you can use his method with a tractor or without. But I also tell some small farmers, if you've got a quarter of an acre, and you don't have a tractor, you can do this. All we need is two tomato steaks and a roll of bailing twine that's 100 feet long. And you can stake it off on both ends, plant your row, move it over foot, and repeat the process and do it again. I'm a large tractor farmer and I'm a small tractor farmer, or 43,560 farmer. And I'm happy to report that on two acres, I can make more money than the other 100 acres of open tillable cropland that I have planting the soybeans and small grains and the things like that. So, and it's, and it's my love too. I, I like uh, raising vegetables as well. Slade is enthusiastic about this technique and like any good extension agent, he's eager to share his knowledge and success. VSU is recruiting volunteers to help with the research plot next spring to get hands-on experience. And they'll have a field day in June to introduce potential growers to vendors and fellow growers. That way, those volunteers or apprentices would see the type of equipment that we use the, the, the tools that we use and the strategies that we employ to get all of this stuff planted and weighed. Slade says his system is particularly appealing to younger farmers trying to break into agriculture without all the expensive equipment and land needed for row crop production. And young folks have an advantage over his generation. They understand how to use social media. I know uh, farm owners or uh, pick your own operations that use Facebook and things like that. And they have 18,000 followers. I need to slow down and take the time to do it because my children and grandchildren have shown me that it'll work in, in marketing anything. To learn more about the 43560 Project, contact Virginia State University or your local cooperative extension agent. At Virginia State University, I'm Norm Hyde.